It's Sabbath morning. Mommy, where are you? My dear sister, wake up in the morning. Wash your face, brush your teeth. church soon and meet together. Before I start my story, let us pray. My Father God in heaven, we thank you so much for bringing us to this day. We pray that you may be with us as we go through this children sermon and help us to understand it and not only to understand it, but also to be able to use it in our day-to-day life. We pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Mm. My story today is called Amina the Peacemaker. Amina was walking down the road when she saw two boys wrestling and rolling in the dust. She immediately knew that they were fighting. She wondered how to help them. She then decided to go and tell the boys to stop fighting. She she shouted to them, You boys, stop fighting! But they ignored her until she said, I'm going back to school and I'm going to tell the teacher on you. She started walking back to school and the boys followed her quickly. Well, they were rushing, begging her not to tell the teacher. Saying, please, you know what they'll do, you know what kind of punishment they'll do to us. I don't want to shave grass with a razor blade in any time soon. Please, please, little girl, don't tell the teacher. And Amina agreed not to tell the teacher on one condition that they would not fight again. They agreed that they will not fight again. And Aisha said, I have forgiven you. 
let us kneel down and pray so that God may forgive you as well. And um, Amina prayed along with the two boys, one by one. Their prayer was that the boys may be forgiven from fighting, that they may be able to spread peace and that they may be able to prevent another fight from happening. This is how Amina became a peacemaker. Amina is now grown up a teacher with children. And do you know what she teaches the ch her children? Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Let us open it. It says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Therefore, let us remember this whenever we get into a problem with our friends and also with our family. Let us pray. Our Father out in heaven, we thank you so much for being with us today. We pray that you may be with us as we continue through the day that we may be vessels of peace and not of war, and that we may be able to live peacefully with our friends and family. We pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Oh. Amen. Well.